Hello and welcome to this IET.TV interview for the transport sector. I'm Paula Marie Brown, Head of Transport at the IET and today I am at the Monaco Yacht Show to interview Tim Moss, MBE, a Fellow of the Institution and Head of Engineering at Blue Water Yachting. Tim, thank you for joining me this afternoon. Tell me, the MCA's proposed restructuring of training and certification for engineers across the maritime industry. Can you tell me a bit more about what is being proposed? Yes, I can. Um, this is very much still a work in progress, uh, but the MCA have pulled together uh, a wide group of expertise um, from the fisheries, from the workboats, from yachts, from tugs, from the IET, from other institutions, and from uh, the Chamber of Shipping to try and get a streamlined certification structure for all four sectors such that they get the same training and the same certificates that are interchangeable. How will this affect engineering yacht crew? Well, yacht crew have been complaining for many years that it takes them so long to get their qualifications that we've looked at different ways of training them and certificating them and the amount of sea time they require to get promoted. Demand for experienced and qualified engineers is currently outpacing availability. What do you think the super yacht industry needs to do to retain engineers and make the industry more attractive to recruit and help increase numbers? I think the uh, super yacht industry is already a very attractive proposition for engineers. Um, and the answer to the first question is um, worldwide engineers are in short supply. There's a decline in the standard core subjects of maths, physics and sciences and the more we encourage that and get uh, youngsters to become proficient in it, I think we would see more engineers coming through. And I know the IET have worked particularly hard to develop youngsters with award schemes and other incentives, and especially to bring females through in the engineers uh, industry. So the more they can do the earlier, for me, the better. So, how has the role of the electrotechnical officer changed in recent years? The electrotechnical officer on yachts is quite a different animal to that in the merchant navy already. The priorities of a super yacht owner um, are quite different to that of a LPG gas carrier captain, for instance. So, uh, there is a difference, but there is also no recognised training for yacht engineers to become an ETO without going through the merchant navy route. I think the ETOs at sea feel quite exposed. They have no formal recognition um, and they feel unloved and they feel underqualified and that they don't have any place in the industry compared to their uh, contemporaries in other uh, walks of life, such as engineering. Um, the PYA have been extremely active already in promoting the changes that are uh, currently being discussed. Uh, they have driven this right through from um, first-hand experience with the yacht engineers. Um, I'm also very pleased that the IET are here at the Monaco Yacht Show this week uh, promoting professionalism, recognition and standards because they all need to improve and they need to change.